Have you ever wondered about the stories that history hides in its corners? The ones that often remain overlooked or overshadowed by the grand narratives? Well, today, we're embarking on a journey into a small yet intriguing part of history. Welcome to Unveiling History. I'm excited to have you here. Don't forget to subscribe and join the conversation down in the comments below. Imagine this, the world in the early 19th century, the United States of America grappling with the challenges of nation building. When suddenly, a question arises, what happens when a vice president becomes a president under extraordinary circumstances? The answer to this question is John Tyler. John Tyler, the 10th president of the United States, holds a unique position in history. Born in 1790 on a sprawling plantation in Virginia, Tyler's life was marked by privilege and education. He attended the College of William and Mary, setting the stage for a remarkable journey that would shape the nation's destiny. As a young man, Tyler's trajectory was set in motion when he was elected to the Virginia State Legislature. The War of 1812 ignited his fervent anti-British sentiments, leading him to organize a militia to defend Richmond. This chapter, however, merely foreshadowed his extensive political career. Tyler's political journey continued with a seat in the U.S. House of Representatives, where he advocated for states' rights and supported slavery. He challenged the Missouri Compromise, arguing for the autonomy of individual states to address the issue of slavery. Later, he joined the U.S. Senate, where his fierce opposition to President Andrew Jackson's policies thrust him into a new political realm, the Whig Party. In 1840, Tyler was chosen as a vice presidential candidate alongside William Henry Harrison. They won the election with the famous slogan, Tipicano and Tyler too. Tragically, Harrison's sudden death propelled Tyler into the presidency, earning him the dubious nickname, His Accidency. But let's delve into the man behind the politics. Tyler's personal life was marked by triumph and tragedy. He married twice and fathered a total of 15 children, more than any other U.S. president. His personal struggles wove a tapestry of complexity that transcended his political endeavors. Tyler's presidency was marked by a tumultuous relationship with the Whig Party. His veto of legislation aimed at creating a national bank led to a schism, with most of his cabinet resigning. Tyler's staunch defense of his convictions left him a president without a political party. Despite the turbulence, Tyler's presidency yielded significant accomplishments. The Log Cabin Bill allowed pioneers to claim land in the West, and diplomatic treaties expanded trade horizons. His post-presidential life saw him attempting to reconcile the divisions that would culminate in the Civil War. Tyler's passing in 1862 marked the end of a remarkable life. Yet, his death was not officially recognized by the U.S. government, reflecting the complexities of his role during a turbulent era. His legacy, a blend of political conviction and personal resilience, remains woven into the fabric of America's past. So, as we close this chapter of history, remember that even within the margins of grand narratives, there exist stories of incredible depth and significance. John Tyler's life is a testament to this. With that said, thanks for joining me on this journey through time. Until next time, keep exploring and keep questioning. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more content like this, please consider subscribing to our channel. By subscribing, you'll be notified when we upload new videos. Thank you again for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in our next video. You can also help to support of my channels at PayPal details in the description box below.